hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. cartoon about Gulliver in the land of Lillipoop. My friend Jeannie let me borrow it. I have it till tomorrow. And what's the story about? Well, it's about this guy who gets shipwrecked where the people are just so teeny, teeny, tiny. Fixies, you mean? No, not fixies. Lilliputians. Lilliputians? Uh-huh. Know what, Simka? I think that you fixies might have come from those Lilliputians. No way! Our grandpa told us a completely different story of the Fixies. When something is very well made, then the saying goes that it was made with just a little bit of salt. In old times, craftsmen made things to last, and in each appliance, they would leave just a little piece of their soul. Those little pieces of their soul would turn into tiny craftsmen called Fixies, who would then make the appliance their home and take care of it every day. And that's how the very first Fixies came about. But as the years have passed, fewer things are being made by hand and more and more things are getting made by machines in factories. That means there are less and less new Fixies coming from human souls. Luckily, Fixies can fall in love with each other and have their own family, raising their children and teaching them well so they'll grow up to become skillful and honest master Fixie repairmen. So you're mistaken. We're not Lilliputians at all. We're Fixies. Yeah, Fixies. Listen, Tom Thomas, why don't you show us the movie? Yeah, yeah, I want to learn about Lilliputians too. Really, I do. Sure, I'll show you. Oh no, what's going on? I broke it, ugh. I can't give her back a disc that's messed up. Don't panic. We'll take a look at it. Come lay it down over here. Hmm. Tom Thomas, why is this disc all covered in jelly? Because I was touching it with my fingers. I mean, uh, what else? It's obvious you don't know how a disc works at all. And you know how it works? Yeah, I know. Yeah? If we take a look at a digital disc through a powerful microscope, we can see rows of tiny valleys of different lengths. These valleys are actually a code for the cartoons, games, or music recorded onto the disc. Inside a disc player, a laser beam reads the code and helps turn it back into pictures and sounds. But if you scratch the disc or smudge the disc with dirty fingers, the laser can't read it and the disc won't play. That's why you need to keep discs clean and stored in cases. So that's why you should only hold discs along the edges. And when you're done watching them, you have to put them back inside their boxes. And what about this one? Do we have to get rid of it? Not so fast. Nolik, this calls for a major cleaning. Let's get the brooms. Thomas, check the disc. <laughs> 
you go. Now you're holding it right. Hooray! The disc works fine. Hooray! Now we can watch the movie about the Lilliputians. Hey, Gulliver, why are you sitting there? You've seen this movie already. I'm knowing what. What, what? Look at that pile of discs. Where do you need to put them? Huh. In their boxes. I almost caught one yesterday. I chased him by the fled. But if I told my daddy, say, it's, it's all inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them. Or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The key card. Whoopa! Well, Professor Eugenius, your kennel's back in action. TV! Ah, oh, why, thank you. I've been longing for a cup of tea. Yes. There's no tea left in here. Uh, mm, then I'll go ask Lisa if she has some. <gasps> Look! Professor Eugenius! You forgot the key! You must be joking. That's a key. This is nothing but a plastic card. But it is a key. A special kind. It's called a key card. <laughs> to open up a combination lock, you need to enter a code in the correct order. That means if you can't remember the code, you can't open the lock. But if the lock uses a key card, there isn't any code to memorize. Because the code is held inside the card's memory. And the lock can read the code from the card. Of course, key cards don't work with any lock. They have to be smart locks that are able to read electronic codes. When the smart lock reads the correct code, it opens right up. Elisa, do we have any tea here? Of course, Professor Eugenius. Wonderful. I'll take one bag, then. Oh, I left my key inside the lab. Can I borrow yours? Just don't forget to give it back. Of course I'll give it back. Come on, Elisa. I got myself a tea bag. Professor Eugenius, the water's boiling. Fantastic. Ta-da-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Ch-ch-chai. Wait a second. Ah, oh, no. I was supposed to give something back to Elisa. Why don't you go and ask her? Right. I'll be right back. Professor Eugenius! That's card number two now. Elisa, I promised you something, didn't I? Yes, the key. You said you'd return it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me get it. Just a sec. Oh, oh, I locked it in the lab. It's terrible. How will you ever get back into the laboratory now? You see, there is one way, but it's a secret. Would you mind leaving for a couple of minutes? Colleague, Professor, can you do me a little favor? The key. I think I left it on the table. Yeah, right. It's true. So how do we solve this? I need to think about it. What's there to think about? We just have to go and push it under the door. You think you can do it? Yeah! It's time to get to work. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh. Were you just calling for me? Yeah, uh, no, Lisa, not for you. It's so heavy. Do you know where Digit ran off to? Uh -huh. <sighs> Digit's off somewhere thinking. He's always doing that when it's time to work. <sighs> Hard to port. Hard to starboard. Way to go, Nolik. Uh, uh, then who were you talking to? <laughs> Actually. Oh, what's that? Where? <laughs> what? <laughs> What was that? Come on, let's try again. Look, do you see that? Ah, that, it's a telekinesis. It's the power to transport things with your mind. You are just astounding. Was that done with your mind too? The door, yeah, sure. You are a genius. Professor Eugenius is a very talented scientist and a dear old friend of the Fixies. 
He always helps the Fixies, and the Fixies are happy to help him, too. Professor Eugenius let the Fixies set up their school right here at his laboratory. It's hard to imagine a better place for a Fixie school. People from all over the city bring all sorts of things to the laboratory to be tested, from computers, phones, and furniture, to food and toys. Professor Eugenius uses his expertise to check the quality of all these different things. To help him carry out his experiment, his laboratory is filled with a variety of tools and machines. Yes, Professor Eugenius is a very smart man, but he can be absent-minded. Lucky for him, he's got us fixies around. Thanks for everything. Sliding the keycard under the door? That was Simka's awesome idea. But the door opened wide while the card was still on the floor. That's strange. There's nothing strange about it. I'm the one who opened it. How? how? I climbed in the lock, that's all. Figured out how it worked and... Tadish! Very clever. That's a real Tadish. I guess that thinking before you go and fix something ought to be what we all study next. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their